What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review and today of course um, as you can tell nothing Godzilla related or anything like that but my girlfriend just got me this the other day she got it on sale at the Disney store it's one of those Disney store exclusives originally about 30 bucks she nailed it for about $12 and I was like that's pretty freaking cool and uh, she knows I like Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, is, you know, for those of you who have seen my Star Wars reviews and heard me talk about Star Wars as of recent, Kylo Ren is my new favorite number one character of Star Wars. I love him. I love his character. I love the, you know, helmet design, the costume. Uh, you know, I wasn't fond of the lightsaber at first, but I've grown to like it. And I will be cosplaying as Kylo Ren this year at Tucson Comic Con. And I'll probably do it for Halloween as well. But, um... Just to get straight on into this figure, really excited about it. It's a really awesome figure. Uh, the Disney Store does put out some cool Star Wars stuff. I do. I did review the Elite, Elite Series uh, Kylo Ren figure from Star Wars, and those are the die-cast uh, metal figures. So I did review that, and that was a great figure. And then, uh, of course, I have the Black Series Kylo Ren, but of course that's not a Disney Store figure. That's just uh, Hasbro. And then uh, this guy, so it's like, you know, my Kylo Ren, I, ju I just want to call it my Kylo Ren collection, not really Star Wars, because I really don't have too much other Star Wars stuff. I used to have a big Star Wars collection, but, and then I got rid of it all, so, to make room for more Godzilla stuff. But, uh, so I'm pretty much might just call it my Kylo Ren collection, because that's pretty much all I have from Star Wars, other than a couple uh, Bosque figures, which is my favorite bounty hunter. But enough blabbering about all that. Let's get into this figure. And uh, is he going to stand? Is he going to stand? So, uh, talk about the box. Of course, you know, big nice open window, kind of like, you know, a Turbo Man display type box for all of us who have seen that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It wasn't called Turbo Man, but it was called, um, what was it called? I can't remember. It's a Christmas movie, though. But, um, jingle all the way. There we go. Anyway, so you got the Disney Store logo up here. Pretty much a red box all the way around. Uh, talking Kylo Ren. Yes, this figure does talk. He's about 14, 15 inches tall. Very nice picture of Kylo Ren there on the side. On the back side, you got a picture of the figure and pretty much where the buttons are and what he does. Uh, bottom side, you got your legal jargon and whatnot. And uh, just, you know, nice box all the way around. I'll probably hold on to this box. It's a nice box. Nothing too bad about it. Now let's get on to the figure itself and let's talk about paint job because it's really simple. So here is the Disney Store Talking Kylo Ren. Very awesome figure. Uh, you know, very, you know, it's, it's actually very well done. I mean, it's a little on the light side, you know, the rubber cape and a little bit of the electronics and whatnot on the inside of him make him a little heavy, but I don't want to say he's cheaply made. But he is a little, uh, you know, on the light side for how big of a figure he is. And really for the price point, even if this guy was the original $30, it doesn't matter. I mean, for what he does, and just the sculpt and mold and the look itself, I mean, it's a great figure to get for that price point. And the fact that my girlfriend was able to nab him for about $12 makes it a whole hell of a lot better. And I thank her so much. This is probably my favorite Kylo Ren figure I have so far. I, I, he's just he's just great. He's awesome, and uh, so for the paint job, he's black. Okay, black color all the way around. Uh, you know, you got some silvers and whatnot in here for the lightsaber. Of course, red translucent plastic for the blade. Uh, you got you know some silver here on his mask, and then that's about it. But overall, he's black. Okay, paint job done. As far as detail goes. Very good. I mean, again, for a Disney Store figure, it looks great. You know, helmet, mask looks great. You know, the arms, all the, you know, black wrapping and the gloves and whatnot look great. Uh, his cape and his other, you know, clothing that kind of sticks off of him is a rubber. But it looks very nicely well done here on the back and whatnot. Where it kind of, he's kind of like shredded on the edges and everything. Looks great. Hood looks great. The wrinkles and everything all the way around. Seam here at the very top of the hood looks great, uh, you know, for his, you know, f you know, for the fabric on his chest and whatnot. That's not rubber. That's just into the mold. But that looks very nice. Uh, you know, boots and everything, very nicely well done. So detail, it's very, very, very good. I mean, it, it's simple. You know, Kylo Ren is kind of a really simple character. There's not a whole hell of a lot going on with him, but where he does have good detail, it's there. 
The lightsaber, of course, we all know Kylo Ren's lightsaber to be kind of like sporadic and the blade itself is like unstable. But it is kind of etched in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is etched in there on how it, you know, looks. They kind of give it that look. Uh, it's kind of there, and then it kind of just smooths out towards the end. I kind of wish they kept that consistent, but uh, that's okay. And, uh, you know, he does stand on his own pretty well. You know, I do have him kind of in a stance. This leg is kind of bent, and this leg is kind of straight and kind of out to the side. But um, what's next? I'm going to go over gimmicks and stuff last. But what's next would be articulation. Of course, with the hood and stuff on, he, he, can, he has head movement, so you can get his head to turn, you know, left or right. You know, nothing too crazy. You can't really get him to look up and down all too much. I mean, that's about as high up as he can look. And then, you know, down is kind of just basic looking straight forward at you. Uh, articulation at the shoulders. They can, you know, rotate up, down, and then you can pivot them out to the side like that. He does have an elbow joint, and then, and then his wrist also rotates on this arm as well. Same thing for this arm, except the wrist does not rotate at this arm, and if you get this figure, don't try to force it or anything. It looks like there's a seam there. It looks like it rotates, but it doesn't. That's because, again, you have some electronics probably going through the arm into the hand and into the lightsaber, so that's probably where the electronics are, so you don't want to accidentally snap that and break something, and then you know, the lightsaber or maybe even the whole figure won't work for you now. So be careful. Uh, the wrist looks like it rotates, but it doesn't. He does have a waist joint to where he can turn side to side. His legs, you can get him to kick out forward, you know, backward. He does have a joint at the knees. And then uh, no swivel or pivot or anything anywhere, but you can get his legs to kick out to the side, like so. And then for the ankles, just a little bit of a joint forward and backward. So nothing too crazy, but a good range of articulation to where you can get this guy into some good poses. And uh, he just looks great and he looks awesome. I'll worry about his pose later. But now we'll get on into the end part of this review, which will be the gimmick stuff. I don't have a lot of figures that have gimmicks, but again, this is a gift from my girlfriend, and I really love it, and I really liked it. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So um, now on some of these other figures that I've seen from the Disney store, once I looked into them after I got this guy, on some of them they hid the speakers and the buttons and stuff really well. On Kylo Ren, I can understand why it might have been hard to do that. I mean, maybe they could have put uh, some of the stuff to his back, to where the cape's covering it. But, um, of course, you got the little speaker slots right there on his chest area. And then, of course, right here is the button. The, uh, the button's not too bad. It's more or less just the speaker slots. They could have even put, they could have even done, like, the speaker things up here in his mask, you know, to make it blend in really good. But that's okay. But, uh... He does say uh, several phrases. A few are from the movie, but some, I think, are just made up for the figure because some, like, I know for a fact he never said them in the movie. But some of them he did, and so I'll just go through the phrases here for you. Some of them, not all of them, but maybe all of them. We'll see. Together, we will destroy the Resistance and The Last Jedi. Don't fight it. You know you can't. I'm immune to the light. No one will stand in our way. No one. You know what I've come for. That weapon is mine. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You know what I've come for. Okay. And uh, so, you know, that's pretty much almost all the phrases that he does. And then the other button that's really well hidden is right here on his arm. It really goes in well with the bands and whatnot that are for his sleeves, but it's for the lightsaber, for the lightsaber gimmick. So that's cool. And then one thing I did notice was, and they don't tell you this on the box, but there's actually a switch to where you can have all the way to the left or all the way to the right and he doesn't say different things but the lightsaber does something different so that was the feature when it's all the way to the right right in the middle the figures off you press the buttons he's not going to uh, say anything 
you know, he's not going to do none. So that's pretty much off right in the center. And then when you go all the way to the left, the phrases and everything are the same, what he says, but what the lightsaber does, I almost like it better than the first feature. And it just stays on for about 15, 10 to 15 seconds. And then that's about it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the gimmicks for this guy. So, again, it's a really great figure. Thank you again, sweetheart. I love him so much. He's so awesome. And, uh, oh, he's just so freaking cool. One of my new favorite figures. Anyway, um, I think I'm about to sum up this review here and just end it there. Great figure. Pick it up if you can. If, even if he's not on sale at your local Disney store, pick it up. Spend the 30 bucks. You know, it, it, it's well worth it. Great, great figure. Anyway, you guys, that's about all I got for today's review. Hope you enjoyed my review on the Disney Store exclusive Talking Kylo Ren figure. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next figure review. Thank you for watching.